there were a few people that were traveling and doing YouTube, and there was a couple called Chris and G. They went from Arizona to, to Alaska every year, and he made beautiful videos, and watching his videos and, and a few others really got me interested in, it, it affirmed the fact that I wanted to go hit the road and go travel. Hi, my name's Dave. I am from Dallas, Fort Worth originally, but I've lived in this for four years. So home is where this is parked, basically. Uh, this was my dad's coach. He had it for about 10, 15 years, and he got to where he couldn't drive it, so I took it over. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a Wonder Lodge. It's a 1986. They started making them in 1963. They made them till 2009. There's still quite a few of them out on the road today. We have a real tight group of owners, an owner's group, and we have two rallies, two big rallies a year, and we have a bunch of little rallies all over the country. My father bought it in 1999 used. When he bought it in 1999, he would have paid, by the time he put a few tires on it, it was about about $100,000. Brand new in 1986, it would have sold for about $350,000. We're top of the line in 1986. Yeah. Very distinct to you. The road. The antenna? Yeah. Because the over there antenna used to be a big a dome about that size. And in internally oh. it would turn and, and face and hit channels. Automatically? Autom well no, you had it inside you had you had two uh -huh. buttons. You had one in the bedroom and one in the living room you could turn and internally it would look for a station. That gotten so old it was it was in bad shape, I had to take it off. So I just put that on there. The satellite dish was a great big eight foot dish. <laughs> it became obsolete, so I took it off, used the same motor assembly mm -hmm. that, that picked that up, and I put a standard, more normal dish on it. Your roof is no problem to holding that kind of weight. That particular motor didn't have any problem, I uh -huh. guess. Yeah. So I know it doesn't have any problem holding this dish yeah. this size. And then I saw that you have solar panel on the roof. I put solar panels on. I've got 570 watts. I wished I'd have done it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Because before I got solar panels, I had to keep running my generator throughout the day and really watching my batteries. Now I don't have to do that. Now I can watch TV, I can run lights, uh, water pump, everything. And I never run down during the day because I've got plenty of them. And it goes all the way through to the other side. Propane, about 35 gallons. And it's got a grill. Uh, Gas grill. If you connect it from the from propane. It's kind of a pain to get in some places sometimes to get propane because I'm so big. Uh, refrigerator. Duals and tag. Battery charger. It's a 8V92 Detroit, which is a two-stroke. It's a World War II design. If you look up a two-stroke engine, mm -hmm. an 8V92, it'll tell you how it works. It's uh, less problems. It doesn't break down as well. It's, it's very dependable. That's 500 horse. So how much gas it burns? You're not supposed to ask that. <laughs> it's about five miles per gallon. Five miles per gallon. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Oh my, how can you afford that? Uh, well, I don't have a house payment. Yeah. That's the radiator behind those louvers. The awnings, I've got awning, the, the awnings. Some of the some of the coaches didn't they didn't put awnings on the other side where the big awning was, but I've got yeah. all awnings. I really like those awnings. It's how much cooler it makes it in there when the sun beats on those windows. That's my sewer. Mm -hmm. I've got a 100 gallon gray tank and a 100 gallon black tank. And I've got 120 gallons of fresh water. I can go about three weeks off grid. Awesome. Yeah, if I'm careful. Oh, 
always like this part. Whoa! Twelve and a half kW generator. I can run yeah. all three air conditioners and, and give somebody else power too. The inside has, has no remodeling. Basically, just like what it came from at the factory. Okay, so shall we go inside? Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. Watch out, brother. It's original except for the TV. It would have been a little bitty TV about that big that was in a recessed hole behind that TV. Other than that, it is huh. pretty much the same. <laughs> there used to be another chair just like that here. It got removed at one point. I always used it for my, to put my, just my, it was my clutter place where I put all my junk, you know, just like, needed a place to put something and dog needed a place to sleep so i built this he would have his bed rusty's bed this is a jackknife couch it folds out to a bed but it's not very comfortable uh all these are airline type storage hey. instrument panels and look like an airplane yeah it is it is it looks like airplane compartment uh this is your, for your generator is it all working? Yeah, there's your amps, uh, AC volts when you're plugged in, the amps you're drawing when you run something. Uh, altimeter, that kind of makes you think airline pilot. Altimeter yeah. tell you what your elevation is. If you're sea level or if you're in the mountains, you're, uh, that's a Raycor, that's a fuel, the, the fuel filter out there. If it starts to stop up, then that shows me that that filter stopped. Uh, the yeah. rest of it just switches uh, light. If, if, I if I start the engine and I'm still plugged into power out there, I'll get blinking lights. I can start my generator here. Uh, this is basically air conditioner and uh, chassis air. Same way with here. A lot of this is the chassis air. I, I religiously watch my gauges because I'm really I'm, I'm I'm fearful of something happening back there with that engine, say a a, a coolant line break or something. I, I really watch my water temperature. I watch my RPMs. I watch my oil pressure and my oil temperatures. There's lights all over the outside that you can turn on here. The def just the defrost. There are three propane heaters in here that I can operate here and turn those on and bring those bring bring those on. The fans are 12 volt. The heat is is propane. Uh, I don't hardly use them because I don't like to use propane because propane is so expensive. I just use electric heat. Mm -hmm. So the cabinets are all solid. Yeah. Yeah, it's not hollow one. Right, right. Yeah. Everything, everything, everything is, is solid. Wow, look at this. Built-in toaster. Convection microwave. I bake in that. Refrigerator is still the original three-way. Runs on gas when you're not plugged in. Supposed to run on 12 volts when you're going down the road, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it does or not. So, mm -hmm. it's fairly small. It's hard to, you know, it works yeah. for one person, yes. You got pantry. Wow. Wow. A lot of cans, by the way. <laughs> wow. Well, when COVID started, we went to the store and couldn't find any food. Yeah, exactly. I started stocking up. Yeah, me too. Door for the restroom. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's got, a, it's got a tub area, but I don't use it. It's so small. I'm yeah. not a bathtub person anyway. I'm taking a shower person. Yeah. Queen size bed. The 120 gallon water tank is underneath the bed along with the water pump. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I like the lights. Both sides. I've got to do something about because I've still got fluorescence. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not plugged in and I'm running on my batteries, those fluorescents, that's an eight foot and this is a six foot. And they really put a hurt on my batteries. So I've got to get LEDs in there. 
that's one of my next projects. Got to do away with the fluorescent. Now I've got storage behind here. Uh, you can't really tell how deep it is, but it's pretty deep. There's a comport. Keep all and... my uh, bedding in there. Mm -hmm. uh, the air conditioner for back here is behind that one. And back there, I keep all my uh, some more linens and uh, towels and so on. Oops. And then there's a phone. Inter Intercom system to the driver's seat. Phone in the driver's seat. And you can talk to somebody back here. When my folks would travel in, sometimes uh -huh. they would take my kids. My kids were little. And that used to be their game is, is to talk back and forth <laughs> on the phone. Yeah. And you've got storage in here too. And of course, that's the Bluebird. Yeah. That's what this is, is a Bluebird bus. Mm -hmm. And that's their logo. Air conditioning comes out here for the rear. Mm -hmm. Air conditioning air conditioning the uh, curtains the curtains are electric very nice So I can lay back here. I can lock the door, front door. If I hear a noise out there and I think somebody's messing with something, I can hit a security light switch and all the lights on the outside of this thing come on. I could start the generator from here. I could, I can start and stop the generator from the dinette table. Solid. Yeah. So sorry. That's uh, all closed. Shoes, wow. a lot of storage. Just the type of, yeah, you know, yeah. The, 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 everything. Know. Everything was very was made very well. Watching their travels made me want to do it even more. I already kind of wanted to do it because I knew people were people were doing it. But after I was still working, and that was kind of the for about two years. I would just get on and watch their videos and go, man, I want to do that. You worked all summer long, all day long, to make enough money to make it through the winter. So you were out in the heat, in attics, and on rooftops. And that's why when it gets hot in Texas, I get out of there and come up here where it's cool. So you save the money and then retire? Right. I'm pretty frugal. I don't have a lavish lifestyle. You could call me a tightwad. I eat off the dollar menu. So it's not like I need a whole lot of money. I just need to the basics, insurance and fuel and 